I'm more excited Inside about this interview <laughs> than anything <laughs> that's happening in my career in the last 10 years. Oh my God. This, this, is, this, this is it. This, this is, is the defining moment. moment for me. Yeah, you know, most interviews you just come and go, but this is the one. You've that been I, on TV, radio, but yeah, actually, but they, they don't, they're not like a podcast. No, it's not this like a podcast. This is proper. This is real. This is talking to the people. Obviously, a very obvious question. When do you remember? Do you remember the moment that you could first make people laugh? And you've obviously talked about it when you had a, when you were really little. You were in hospital and you yeah. were making the nurses laugh, which I can again imagine with this cheekiness. <laughs> Um, but d getting up on stage and doing it at the Frog and Bucket, tell me about that. What was that like? That first night was that first night was like a whirlwind. You, you get invited up, and it, it, it's a kind of you know, it, it, there's seven people in the room, and you're all in some seven people. Yeah, to to a greater or lesser extent, you're all sad, lost souls. You know, and I think I said that in the book. I looked you around did, yeah. thinking, what are all these saddles doing here? You know, I'm here because I've got nothing better to do. That doesn't make me one of them. But in reality, I was. I was looking for, for something, and it was it was great that that existed, and that, was, that opportunity to get on a stage, hear people laugh, suddenly ignite something inside of you. The challenge of, of being a comedian or moving into comedy is when you commit to do something the following week and then the week after and then the week after so you've already made a commitment to do something when you don't know whether you feel like it and you don't know what your day is going to bring and you don't know what mood you're going to be in whether you're going to be physically up to it or not that's when it, that's when you start becoming a comedian and then when you're doing it on a stage and there's a, a level of expectation so if you start doing a weekend night and it's full, mm. so nobody's prepared to allow the, the standard that they're prepared to accept drop. So if you're no good, they'll tell you. Oh, that, yeah. That's when the level of expecting goes. And then it keeps racking up, you know, like I'm going to go on tour next year, and those seven people have now become 10,000 in an arena, but the expectation is the same. And from my point of view, you know, I'm planning what I'm doing in a year's time, now on, I don't know, November the 4th, next year, I might have had a really crappy day, but there'll still be 10,000 people and they'll still need to and laugh. And they'll want to laugh, yeah. And that, is, yeah. you become a professional comedian when you do it at your lowest, not when you do it at your top.